Every day, we have millions of sensory input coming in. We take all of this information and use it to make decisions. But what if I cut off all your senses except for your sight? Making decisions may become a bit more difficult. So how can we improve what our eyes can tell us? This question is the focus of my research, specifically rel uh, relative to focal cortical dysplasia, also known as FCD. This brain disorder is often the cause of epilepsy in children, and what a radiologist can see on an MRI scan directly affects surgical treatment. Now, the good news, FCD is responsive to treatment. The bad news, FCD can be very good at hiding. To see this, let's look at how it's treated. We start off with multiple slices of an MRI scan. A radiologist goes through looking for abnormal tissue. It's here where we could have a problem. Now if it all goes perfectly, the radiologist finds the region and a surgeon goes in and removes any damaged tissue. But FCD is very subtle. Sometimes even an experienced radiologist can't find it. Now if this happens, they may cut a larger area of the skull just for diagnosis. Especially in children, we want to avoid procedures like this. So we need to avoid something called MRI negative results. These are cases of known FCD that are not visible on the scan. But how can we do this? Well, let's look at a small region on one image. Like the complete image, it's made up of pixels. Each pixel corresponds to a number based on its brightness. So an image like these MRI scans is a visual recording of a data set. For a patient's full scan, that data set has over 16 million values. But numbers alone don't hold meaning. We need to interpret them. I work to extract information from MRI scans like this one. Now, a radiologist looks for key features associated with FCD. One of these features is irregular thickness on the brain's outer layer. I use computational models to find these features so we can offer a second opinion. I create overlays of thickness measurements for a complete brain and identify areas falling outside a healthy range. I display final results using color maps to highlight suspected regions. Now visibility on a scan is limited by what we can see with the human eye. But if we can improve what can be seen and how we see it, we can improve the surgical outcome. Thank you.